Now, anyways, yeah. Um, you noticed the new beginning there. Uh, it was quite cool me to move this over here, so I'm actually talking to you guys and not talking on the look, I'm looking over here. The camera's here. Anyway, I digress. I wanted to show you guys this. This is uh, Modisha OS. But anyways, first, the new intro thing there, starting soon screen. I made that today in Caden Live, and it was super easy to make. Way easier than I thought it ever could be. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that this kind of stuff would be hard. I don't understand that. Anyways, I digress. I think I've got this figured out. Sorry about yesterday's episode of Defluenced. Or this morning's episode. The whole screw up. Well, you are you haven't heard it yet because it is not out till next Wednesday. But my voice, somehow or another, I recorded two of me on every track. Including Alan's. And I could not get it to separate at all. There was no separating it. It was together forever. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Whoa. A little more bright, a little bright light there. Set something on that. Got to hold that down. So anyways, the... Uh, yeah. I've I've got I I had problems with Pop OS. Um I thought I would never have problems with Pop. Pop was freaking awesome. I love it. And I love the GNOME desktop. But there is something about GNOME. People think I'm crazy. Uh yeah, some people on Reddit think I'm weird and think I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh on my computer, it doesn't matter if it's what what distro it is. It could be Ubuntu, Fedora, MX21, straight up Debian, straight up um, Pop OS, Kubuntu, KDE Neon, and it, it would always crash when I've got the GNOME desktop environment going. GNOME 43, 42, 42 point whatever that Pop was on. Um, it would crash with GNOME. I would install KDE Plasma or LXQT, LXDE, i3 Window Manager on, on, my dog just opened the door. On all of them, no matter the distro, none of them would crash unless GNOME was running. If GNOME was running, computer just shuts off for absolutely no reason. But when I'm in Plasma or whatever, I can run two weeks straight. It never shuts down. just keeps going. If I'm in GNOME, it's at least eight hours, and then it's done says I'm done <laughs> it don't make sense so I installed I was I was just going to try to reinstall pop and put plasma on it and I did and I was like you know I want something different something something for a change I've got way too many stuff because when you reinstall on pop you're just basically clearing out your old config files and old applications but I had too many config files from all the different desktops that I ran on it. And it really was a mess. So what I ended up doing was I went for Modisha. Modisha? I saw this pop up on my YouTube feed. And it's gorgeous. It's got to be the best looking... Uh, 
believe it or not, that's X XFCE desktop. And it's got to be the best looking XF XFCE I've ever seen. It's, you know, it's still whisker menu up here. You got all your stuff in here. This came with a ton of stuff. This is a Modisha OS Ultimate Community Edition. Um, it is a paid, they want you to pay for it. But the Community Edition is free. And the the Ultimate and Enterprise Editions are somewhat different. But not a whole ton of difference. It is kind of cool because it comes with Google Chrome on it's installed out of the box. And I don't, you know, I got to have Chrome for work, so I left it installed. But I still installed Firefox because finding Firefox to run a lot better here lately than Brave. I can't figure that out. But I digress. This, this is the Ultimate Edition right here. And, dude, they've got an Enterprise Edition, an Education Edition. There is a, scroll down here, they have a, there we go, they've got the sound ISO, they've got the enterprise and the education. The sound is for like, uh, you know, audio engineering and stuff, audio production, and you can, they want like 13 bucks for that, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm, I've been around Linux enough. I know what I'm doing. I can get this free community edition. And it does have in the settings app. Right. Cheer. RTK, add user and group and RTK install. You click these two and these, are, these two buttons are scripts. I will install the real-time kernel and add the user and group for audio and put put your user in there. So you don't have to really work at all to do it, to get it installed. The online accounts here, I added that. That's actually GNOME Control Center. So, so I've got all my stuff up here. Let me pause right here for a second. I'm going to go run and close the door again. My dog is not comfortable. So, yeah, there's an edit point. <laughs> Anyways, the uh it's the the real time curl I'm I'm about to go install studio controls from you know, from Ubuntu. It's Modisha OS is based off of Ubuntu twenty two oh four. So pretty much anything Ubuntu will work. Snap surprisingly is not installed. By default, surprisingly, it is not installed, but it is there. And if you install Firefox, you you know you sudo app install Firefox, you're going to get the Snap version, and it will install Snap too. So don't do that. Follow some instructions on, uh, I believe it's OMG, Ubuntu or something like that. Co.uk that tells you how to do it without installing snap nothing against snap other than snaps you can open an app and then go make a whole pot of coffee and drink half of it before it will open um but modish is just absolutely gorgeous i mean i look at this this is insane Look at these, just look at the web wall, wallpapers that they've got installed. Isn't that gorgeous? This one, the variation of that purple one. This one I like really good. Looks good on the 
Chrome piece of crap Chromebook going here. Yes, I have have it installed on the Chromebook. <laughs> but this is just it's it's your standard XFCE just themed really, really, really nice. Look at what they did with GIMP. GIMP is gorgeous. I think that this is actually just a uh, um, the Photoshop theme or whatever they call it. But they've done a really good job with this. They, right now I have it set on the uh, dark secuos dark dark blue dark this is how it looks out of the box it's got queen tail tail delinda is the theme and just look at what it looks like with firefox come on firefox Get over here. Just look how gorgeous that looks like. Looks really good. But, yeah. That is Modisha OS. I can go through here and I'll go through. And these. this is the favorites. These are, I think, the only things that were on here originally was the language support and app grid. I added this other stuff here. But you've got, you know, your typical file manager fonts and blah 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 blah. The music this it came with all of these. I did not install any thing within the music category here. This was all installed. And here's the graphics. I don't know what this animated GIF thing is. Oh, it's something it's a wine program. So now we're gonna sit here and wait for wine to to start I guess that's something you can yeah I digress there's a Krita I, I installed Krita um, the color picker and Discord what else did I install uh me and Kim with Skype and WhatsApp. There's a VLC. It's got Audacious Media Player. I installed Carla. And the real-time kernel stuff. Uh, convert all PDF. It's got the whole LibreSwat. LibreSwat? LibreOffice Suite. <laughs> I don't know what voice notepad is. Let's see what that is. This is, sorry, your browser does not support speech recognition. Oh, I guess I got to open it in Chrome. Must be a Chrome app. Anyways, close that off. Uh, where were you at? Oh, look, it's got this global menu up here, too. I forgot. It's sitting on Audacious. Here's Audacious right here. The music I was playing. Huh. <sighs> is from uh, Panda Beats, which is copyright-free, royalty-free uh, music. And that was the Cyberpunk album. You can get them for free on Spotify, YouTube, um, pandabeats.com, I think. But anyways, I, I like that, the Kill Switch. I love, I, I'm, I'm digging that tune. That's got a really cool tune. Anyways, I digress. Let's go back to... We got... Uh, go on that way. Yeah. It's got Resilio Sync, but it's the Sync thing logo, so I icon, I don't get that. I don't know what Expose is, but it's here in the plank, too. This is Plank Dock down here, by the way. And then, uh, yeah, Pleach Bit. Let's see here. 
animal shooter. Don't know what that is. Stop motion, I guess. Uh, split and assemble files. Avidmux. Avidmux. Handbrake. Caden Live. Caden Live was installed. Natron. Subtitles. And then this DCP Omatic is something to do with getting your videos to a standard oh. for the digital cinema plex. I guess it's for if you want your videos to be played in a movie theater. That's what that's for. And I just noticed they messed up on the wallpaper. His headphones are a little off. <laughs> so anyways, I digress. That's pretty much all that came installed. The, the plank is pretty much the way it looked, except for I swapped out the original file icon they had here for the Thunar Manager file manager icon because I like it better. Um, it comes with evolution email. Uh, it would you know what I got online accounts install or online accounts. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting tired. When I got the GNOME Control Center installed, the uh, online accounts just was super easy, super, super easy to get in. And it just works. <laughs> it's so freaking awesome. Uh, I mean, let me show you my dune arm here. over here it didn't open because it was already open so this is thunar make it a little bit bigger so you can see it now see these are all my accounts this is my, my pop storage that's my second hard drive internal hard drive by terabyte external hard drive and then this is the two Two Google accounts, and then my next cloud account. So, yeah, that is so freaking cool. I think it all mount right there. Boom. There's the other one. There's my terabyte. There's my internal storage. Ah, man. Old man's getting wore out. So that's going to be about do it. Um, yeah. So. Make sure this isn't going to be like super loud. Like my animated starting screen. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm kind of, kind of geeked that I was able to make that. I thought it was cool. One of these days I'll come up with something better. This here I had... This was supposed to have a battery indicator right here. And then it was supposed to have a Wi-Fi thing up here and a, a hard drive here saying 30%. Then over here, the battery indicator, I made it and it was doing like a flash on and off thing. Whereas, and it was saying, please plug in, please, please somebody plug in Bonehead. I think it said, here I can put it up in here. Play source. Yeah. Uh, way to do this. Okay, I see that was supposed to be like that, but it's supposed to be transparent. But it's not transparent. So, I'm going to have to do some finagling and kind of fill in the edges, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. I thought it was kind of cool. Funny. But, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways... Play that funky music. Hey 
Incidentally, there is a song on here called Let's Kill Aggregate. Aggie? They talking about you? Aggie on I Splinter Links? I think it's you. We'll see you guys next time. Be good. Be safe. Don't stick your finger where you wouldn't stick your face.